Hi everybody, here's our last video on the female reproductive system where we will focus on the mammary glands, better known as the breasts. The mammary glands, or the breasts, are really modified sweat glands made up of epithelial tissue that is arranged in little sac-like structures that we call alveoli. And the epithelial cells in these alveoli will produce the milk, and that milk will then eventually enter into what we call the lactiferous ducts. And via these lactiferous ducts, the milk eventually makes it into the nipple. There are actually many hormones that are involved in regulating the process of lactation. We'll focus on just some of the major ones, starting with progesterone and estrogen. They're going to initially um, inhibit lactation when they are at high levels. Remember, they're going to be at high levels uh, not only during the time that the corpus luteum is formed, but even afterwards when the placenta takes over, um, that is before birth. We wouldn't want for lactation to start during birth. So as soon as birth has occurred, milk production will begin to rise because the levels of progesterone and estrogen will decrease. Prolactin then is of course the main regulating hormone for um, milk production during lactation, while oxytocin is the hormone that is going to play a role in the milk ejection reflex. And this is always in response to the suckling of the baby. Another unfortunate important thing to mention about breasts is breast cancer, which by the way can occur in males as well as females. So it's not exclusive to females only. Notice that it's the most common cancer after malignant melanoma and in the United States is the second most common cause of, of cancer death in women. So it's a pretty devastating form of cancer. There are different kinds of breast cancer and there are many different ways to rank breast cancer, but the most common type of breast cancer is referred to as cancer of the small ducts or ductal carcinoma. This then wraps up the female reproductive system, but it also wraps up our second semester of anatomy and physiology. I hope all of you not only enjoyed my videos, but more importantly, I hope you learned from them. If you did, please let me know. I would appreciate that feedback.